Yo, 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 everybody! Generic B here, and welcome back to another installment of Generic B's B Academy. That's right, this is the series where I teach you all about the ins and outs of these little buggers known as bees. Um, so the last couple episodes, just to recap, we showed you all about the bees in the, uh, in the wild that you can get how to grab them, how to store them. We also showed you how to build these little beautiful things, these uh, these apiaries, and how to make bealizers so you can scan them and, uh, and identify them. So, hopefully by now, you guys have, have gone out, gotten a bunch of bees, and you've made a couple of these things, and you've thrown them in there, and you've started making some beautiful baby bees. Let's do a little uh, time set day. There you go, bloop. Um, and I told you in the last episode, don't worry about doing crossbreeding right now. Just just take a bee, put it in there, keep it. Oops. Hello. <laughs> just uh, just keep it, uh, you know, within the same species. And we would talk about it in the next episode. That is for today. There we go. Um, I know you're gonna really want to just start meshing different bees together and see what you come up with and I want to I want to show some restraint to you there are two bees that you really need to get and they are the imperial bee and the industrious bee okay um, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now Ooh, look at this business <laughs> um, now for every type of bee that you breed for every two species, there's a chance that the bee will mutate into another type of bee, another species of bee. And so this is the flow chart of how to get from just hive bees, also known as mundane bees, but I like calling them hive bees, um, from just normal old hive bees all the way over to imperial bees and industrious bees. So let's go over it really quick. Um, so any two hive bees together and that's, again, any of those that are over there. Uh, if you breed them, you get a chance of getting a common bee. And that's this little white guy right here. If you take a common bee and you breed it with any hive bee, you get a chance of getting a cultivated bee. And you'll notice a pattern. Now, if you take a cultivated bee and you breed it with a common bee, which is what we got from the last session, right, then you get a chance of a diligent or a noble bee. From there, you can e you branch off into one of the two. Noble bee with a cultivated bee, which we got back here. So you'll notice there's a, pa a pattern, right? Usually, you will take whatever you get. If you breed it with last generation's bee, you get the next generation. So you see how this goes? So hive, hive, common. Common with a hive gets you cultivated. Cultivated with a common gives you something new, and it goes on like that. So a noble and a cultivated gives you a majestic. Majestic and a noble, right, gives you an imperial bee. Going down here, if we take the diligent path, diligent and a cultivated, from back there, and it gives you an unweary bee. An unweary bee with a diligent bee, which was from right back there, will give you the industrious bee. Why are these so important, and why do I want you guys to make these before you make any other type of bee? It's very simple. Imperial bees make royal jelly, and I know that looks like a little uh, gold nugget, but that's royal jelly right there. And industrious bees make pollen, and those two are key ingredients for making alviaries, which are the really big versions of these guys right here. And there's so many more advantages to to making an alviary and using those instead of these little guys. So that's why I want to, I want you guys to focus on these two before anything else, okay? So now let's talk about some ways to help you get here as quickly and easily as possible because bees can be a real pain in the neck. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, oh, here, forget these. You didn't see these. Boom, boom, boom. First thing you're going to want to do, right, is you're going to put in your meadows and you're going to put in your forest, you know, just a couple of different hive bees and try to get something new out of it. And the chances are you'll get something like this and you'll go, oh, well, I didn't get any commons, uh, but that's good. You know, maybe I got all forest. Meh, not true at all whatsoever. 
Normally, you'll get what they call hybrid bees. So even if you got something that looked like it said it was a common, chances are it's not a purebred common. And let me show you what I mean. What I did was I, I took four sets of bees. I took um, two forest princesses and two meadows princesses, and I bred them with the opposite of their drones, right? And here's what I came up with. Now you see, it looks like you got, you got four commons and a couple meadows and some forest, right? But that's not the case at all. Watch this. It's a commons meadow, right? And then here's a common forest. Common meadow, common forest. Here's a meadows forest. These are called hybrid bees. Hybrid bees are, when you're first starting out, it's pretty inevitable that you're going to get these. It stinks though. Like these, these are like real junky, junky bees. Now the way to um, the way to minimize getting these and to maximize your chances right now of getting purebreds are with these things called soul frames. Now, in the way to make a soul frame is you uh, in a carpenter, uh, you take two logs, put them like that, you know, oak wood or whatever you got. Uh, make sure you got plenty of seed oil, and that will make these little things. These are called impregnated sticks. Uh, this runs off of. Uh, Minecraft jewels, I just don't have it hooked up. I just wanted to show you like the recipe. Uh, and then what you'll do is you will take these impregnated sticks and put one string in the middle. If you need a lot of string, flax. Flax plants are great for getting string. You don't even have to kill any spiders. Uh, and that gets you an impregnated frame. Then what you need to do is take one impregnated frame and one soul sand, and that'll give you these soul frames. And then what you do is you can just grab three of these bad boys. You go over to your uh, go over to your apiary, and you're just going to put them in just like that. And they go in these slots. Now the one thing that you need to watch out for is you want to make sure that you have these frames in place before you put the bee in. Uh, and I think it still works right now. Like you saw how I took the bee out and put it back in. That'll reset it if you screw up but typically you want to make sure that you have these frames in before you put the bees in. Now what these things do is these each one of these frames increases the, the uh, mutation chance by 50%. And so what I mean, I'm going to time set day again. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, for example, any two hive bees have a 15% chance of making a common bee. So if we go back over here and we look, Yoink, right? So you throw a forest and a meadows or a jungle and a wintry, whatever you got, uh, there's a 15% chance of that becoming a common bee. If you put three soul frames in there, that increases it by uh, 7% times three, right? So instead of 15, it's seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, right? So 22 and a half, maybe? An additional, maybe? Math. Uh, so what happens is I did the exact same thing as I did over here with four sets of bees, uh, but instead I did it with soul frames. And here's what I got out of it. So these are still, you know, your junky old hybrids, but I got one common princess, and this is a pure one, and I got four common drones. Here's what I want you to do. As you're going through this path, right, because it is a, a very you know, a layered path to get to where you want to be. Plus, the more of these bees that you try to unlock, the deeper this mutation chain gets. So I don't want you to screw up and ruin a bee. So here's a rule of thumb. Every time you get your very first purebred, I want you to take it. Let's go ahead and take one of those guys. Toggle the rain. Uh, Stop raining on me. <laughs> and put them in a chest. Pure bees, do not touch. And that way you know that you've got one, one purebred one that in case you screw something else up entirely, at least you've got that one. You can throw it in an apiary and get some more drones out of it and mutate that way. Um, now you've also got some of these guys, and they're not terrible. They just need a little more work to do. And here's how this works. So let's say we've got this common forest. And we go, okay, I'm, I'm going to put this. This is my handy dandy little, uh, what do they call it? Pundit square? Pundit square? It's only that. Um, 
so this we knew was a, what was this thing? What was it? Common forest, right? So we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna say it's common. And for common, I'll just say this is white. Perfect. And forest, we will make it blue for forest. And we're just gonna say forest. So this is a common forest. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go, well, what if we mixed it with something? So right now we have a common and a hive. Well, what if we mixed it with another hybrid? So we would look through and we'd say, well, that's a common, here's a common meadows, another common forest. Let's put in a common meadows. And so here's the bee up here that we're gonna do. So we'll right click on this guy, we'll make that white just to show it. So this is a common, Ooh, come on. And we'll make this one red because it's meadows and we'll say meadows. Now, of course, you don't have to do this chart in your actual real world. I'm just showing you this to show you like how things work. Now, if you put those two bees in, a, uh, in an apiary, you've got a 25% chance of this becoming common, right? like that, because a common and a common would be a common. Now here, a common and a meadows has a chance, that's a common and a hive bee, has a chance of becoming cultivated. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna say cultivated, and make that, oh, I don't know, purple. Seems good. A forest and a common, same thing. So we're gonna say, Cultivated, change it to, what did I do, this one? Yep, and then a forest and a meadows. Hey, why aren't you, oh, I did the wrong thing. Loop, wonk, wonk. There we go. Um, a forest and a meadows, that's two hives, so that has a chance of becoming a, a common. So that's actually a pretty good combo to try to, to try to breed together for maximum mutations. Again, you're gonna wanna put them in. Let's go ahead and we'll stick it in here. You're gonna wanna do it with these soul frames in place. And you stick it in there, you let them run, and then every time you breed, every time this finishes, this breeding cycle finishes, you're gonna wanna stick it in one of those, where is that thing? Either your bealizer or this analyzer. And that way you know what you got. So we could take this thing, we didn't know what these were, throw those guys in, and as they go through, it may say it's a pure forest. Chances are it's not because we mixed it with the meadows. It's probably gonna say a forest meadows. That is it for the initial bit of breeding. Um, to, I want you guys to get up to imperial and industrious bees. It is industrious, right? Yeah, yeah. Indust yeah, industrious. Uh, I want you to get up to this point because the next episode, we're going to talk about automating these alviaries right here. I'm sorry, apiaries right here. So we can start producing a whole bunch of this royal jelly and this, uh, and this pollen. We'll also produce a bunch of honey because the imperial bees make a whole bunch of uh, really good uh, dripping combs, which have not only honey, but honeydew, uh, which both can be squeezed to make liquid honey to power a bunch of great stuff. Uh, but that is it for this episode. If you have any questions, I know this can be a little bit confusing, but hopefully with a combination of this and looking at this little chart, uh, hopefully it'll help you out. But if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But that is all I got for today. Until next time, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.